Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and this is a friendly reminder that CentOS 8, which is based on the one-to-one -one build of RHEL 8, is nearing the end of life. That's right, the end of life is happening on December 31st, 2021. This comes after announcement by the CentOS team, saying that they're taking a different direction with their operating system and only focusing on their stream version, which is a rolling release model of the upstream RHEL project. Basically what's said here is that they will not be automatically migrating anyone to anything else, including their CentOS Stream 8. So for the people who are using RHEL 8, we need to start thinking about how we're going to migrate our servers and production environments because we're about to lose stability. So of course, if you haven't started thinking about what operating systems to migrate over to, and you're still using CentOS 8, it's probably time to start thinking. I'll make a few suggestions on some operating systems that are compatible one-to-one -one replacements of RHEL later in this video. But let's talk about this end of life process some more. Basically, we're going to lose updates after December 31st and RHEL 8.5, once that's released, CentOS will give us one last update, even if it's after the end of life date. Again, this all came from after CentOS posted last year in their blog that they're shifting their focus over to CentOS Stream and announced that the CentOS Linux 8 will reach its end of life in 2021. Now, one thing for the CentOS Linux 7 users, you still have the remainder of the life cycle, which we'll check out here in a moment. But before we do, make sure to subscribe. And there's plenty of learning to be done, so make sure to subscribe. Funnily enough, they say when CentOS Linux 8 ends, your best option will be to migrate over to CentOS Stream 8, which a lot of people don't want to do because they don't want to have to update their environments all the time to keep up with the latest and greatest. They want a stable environment that receives updates in a timely manner and something predictable. I know myself, I've used the CentOS operating system as a stable environment for some of my own production environments for actually quite a while now. So it's sad to see this switch over to a rolling release model. To each their own, and of course there's other options available. Let's check out what would typically be the end of life cycle. So here we have RHEL 7, which would have became available on June 10th, 2014, and ended the full support in 2019 with extended maintenance support through 2020 in phase two through 2024. From what I understand, this will still all be serviced, but here on eight, this is the typical availability was in May 7, 2019. This of course is for RHEL, so the support's actually ending here on December 31st, 2021. REHL of course is continuing their support of their own stable operating system. So that is one option that you can go with, of course, is RHEL version 8. But a lot of us don't want to go down that route, especially if we're supporting small organizations, hosting something ourselves, or for a small business. RHEL can be very expensive. Let's talk about CentOS Stream for a moment and how it compares to CentOS Linux. If we go to the upstream versus downstream section, CentOS Linux was a rebuild of RHEL and is downstream from the RHEL project. CentOS Stream, on the other hand, is upstream. So whatever the public is currently developing in the upstream process, whether or not it may be completely stable, doesn't matter, it's going to get released with the stream model. The frequency of updates stream contains content planned for upcoming RHEL minor releases. Doesn't mean they have to be stable. And perhaps some of the biggest changes here is that CentOS Linux involves contributing to upstream projects that are included in this distribution. This includes, but is not necessarily limited to, contributing to Fedora. Changes that might be made in Fedora might actually be in the next release of RHEL, which will then be in the next CentOS rebuild. All right, now that we have talked about the end of life, for CentOS, let's talk about a new beginning with some other operating systems. Here are a couple of my suggestions. First off, Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is basically a spawn off of CentOS and is actually led by Gregory here, the founder of the CentOS project. So a group of people from CentOS went right over to creating their own stable replication of RHEL one-to-one and are calling it now Rocky Linux. So this might be a great place to migrate your system over to 
check out Rocky Linux. And this is probably my first and best suggestion to migrating things over, especially since it's hosted by some of the same team that used to be at CentOS. Again, right here, it says Rocky Linux is a community enterprise operating system designed to be 100% bug for bug compatible with America's top enterprise, which is R-H-E-L. You can download 8.5 right off the bat. And they even talk about what do you mean its downstream partner has shifted direction? Well, it talks about the CentOS project and some more information on what we've talked about here previously. Continuing on, if you want another suggestion, it's Alma Linux which is also a free and open source one-to-one -one binary compatible version of RHEL. Now these guys actually have a pre-stream version of CentOS also available. So if for some reason you want to go with the rolling release model, they also have that option. I'll make sure to post links in the description below on these posts, as well as these two CentOS replacements that you can migrate over to so you can check them out and start planning ahead. Hopefully everyone's migrations go smoothly. I wish everyone the best. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe below and like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.